What's up everyone, we are back with some more verses, we are still at 1600 rating so let us begin, hopefully we climb up to 1700. Faced instantly with up the Bronx, someone 100 low lower than me which is always very concerning because we are most likely of equal skill level but uh, he has the advantage of uh, if he beats me he, he gets like 20 elo and if I lose to him I lose like uh, I don't know 15, 20, 20 once again, 20 makes sense probably. So yeah, uh, I've been working on my bachelor's thesis and some of you have been uh, kind of uh, showing concern in the comments so thank you very much for that. It should be completed now, thankfully we win here the first round which is always very reassuring. This positioning of my opponent is very weird. I don't know why they wouldn't put the pick first like most other people do. A very good start though. We can even grid because we won the last round with the bluebirds. Maybe put it like so. Yeah, we have double level up for next turn and you already know we're hoping for a hatching check. So as I was saying the bachelor's thesis is completed so hopefully... That should be the last of it and uh, by the time I'm uploading this I should be an engineer I hope. Let's see what that we level up into. Double owl which is funny we can try it. Or alternatively we can take... Mm, I don't know owl is kind of a suspicious play because like... Against turtle pack the job of the puppy pack player is to survive until the end game and the owl works kind of uh, anti-synergistic to that strategy because you're playing uh, greedily which you don't really want to do. I'll take one goldfish though, Mo I'll probably skip, take one of these for these stats, maybe even a future level up, we'll see, and a roll into a sturgeon. Shrimp is also pretty good but I think sturgeon is better. I probably would have taken the shrimp if I hadn't thrown the sturgeon as well on the same row and we're hoping that the bluebird doesn't hit the uh, low started duck here. It hit the sturgeon which is pretty nice. I'm hoping for a hit on the goldfish eventually so it can become a 3-5. A 3-5 is so much better than a 1-5 in fights so We'll have to hope that it happens and maybe to that end we maybe even combine the ducks next round so we have something or not something a higher chance of getting that. I'll get a bluebird here, combine the duck. Uh, question is, mm, do we want to play another separate beluga sturgeon? I think so. So we once again lower the chance of the goldfish receiving above, but I think double sturgeon is pretty nice to have. They got a dirty rat with honey in first position, which uh, I can see why they put the honey on, because it counters the dirty rat that it spawns, but at the same time picking up a dirty rat in the first place I don't think is the correct play. Unfortunate bluebird head, but maybe it gets us a win this round, who knows. I'm kind of disrespecting my opponent's plays, but at the same time, uh, I think they kind of have pretty good prospects. If they buff up this rat and uh, get like a camel kangaroo, which is also always a pretty fearsome combo, I think they have a pretty good chance of beating me, so maybe I should <laughs> start giving them some more respect. Let's see what they have done for this round. It's a flamingo. They're preparing to peel, I guess, and actually it's looking like they're going to win this round, yeah? They're going very heavy tempo though, from what I can tell. They're doing meat bone on this, honey on this, probably peel the flamingo on both of these, so they're probably planning to keep them. If that's the case, should I take a bat? I don't think so. I think a hatching chick would be so much better. We can save this for a turn several level up. Uh, another bat. Mm, how do we do this? Maybe we take a lemur for the garlic if we don't find a hatching chick. 
and we didn't so we'll do just that come in garlic and hopefully if they haven't peeled the flamingo which i don't know how likely is that probably very unlikely then we trade with all of these three in one swing so let's consider if they have peeled the flamingo this is going to be a 5-8 so this is going to be a 7-5 with garlic so maybe we play it like so instead there's also a chance that the bluebird hits the duck with its buff it didn't it hit the lemur and actually surprising enough that they didn't peel the flamingo but at the rate this is going we are probably going to sell the goldfish pretty soon because yeah pretty soon being now because i'm not very happy with the the, the fact that we are not finding any levels for it and now we instantly do i already said the toy of the lemur and hopefully get another hatching chick or something nope what would i be happy to see a beluga sturgeon a lemur yeah all of those i think are better than a salad bowl so i'll keep rolling we find the sturgeon pretty nice let's find the lemur as well we do so we have a triple level up next turn we're probably not going to do all the leveling up on the next turn we're probably going to do like uh double level up next turn and the single level up the turn after but the way it's looking maybe i shouldn't be too concerned he's transitioned to scaling my opponent but scaling up a dirty rat and uh, having only a single level two unit is kind of uh, pretty bad for the penguin whatever the case let's take the level first uh probably take the Mm, it's difficult to say wh which level we take first. I'll take the Beluga Sturgeon. We get the Stingray. So maybe take the Bluebird next. No, we, we take the Lemur next because we want to sell it. Uh, doesn't really matter because we're going to pick up the Stingray. Or maybe we pick it up next turn, who knows. And uh, probably mm, it's difficult to say what we take here. Double Axolotl is kind of interesting. And uh, I don't know, maybe we take the level up before taking a gold because even the f despite the fact that it gives us some gold, I don't see any use for it. So let's take the level first. <laughs> Triple Axolotl. Uh, you know what? You know what? Uh, I'm, I'm going to do this for this and uh, this for this. And we're going to hyperscale this duck and maybe even get a level 2 axolotl next turn. Uh, this is going to be pretty funny. Elephant plus uh, dirty rat. Pretty interesting combo. But I guess I'm running uh, double axolotl so who am I to speak? Let's take a level 2 axolotl and we get a thingy. A snapping turtle so we can do something interesting here. Let's build this for the extra gold. Uh, sell the dolphins. We can take one of these. <clears throat> I'm hoping for a tar or something to replace the hatching chick because that would be very funny. We can take even a pie on this one. Unfortunately not now because we don't have the gold for two purchases. Although maybe we can even do this and... Uh, put the lemur into action next turn. I'm kind of sad that we sold it. I didn't know that we were going to transition into triple axolotl. <laughs> Hopefully they don't get a sniper because sniping my level to axolotl would make me very sad. Or maybe place the lemur last position next turn so that uh, it can't really get sniped by the uh, thingy. Yeah, we, we lost a 2-2 two, two buff because of that. And we lost the round, actually. Uh, I hope that now that we can put... Well, this is way better, though. I'm not going to, to play around too much with Axolotl. 
flashlight. I was going to say that we can put Lemur last position so it uh, can uh, tank uh, Crocodile Snipe for the Axe Slaughter, but uh, the way that this is looking, I don't think they're including uh, a thingy on the team. We can take a tar. Do we take a tar? Um, it's difficult to say. Probably. Like, I want to have fun right now. I don't want to play well, I want to have fun. So, this is the play that we are making. A chameleon. With the flashlight. So, we maybe unfreeze one of the pies so we can find, hopefully, a pill. If we don't... It's unfortunate, but at the same time, the only cost is freezing one slot for the chameleon, so it's not no big deal. I really want to see this team win now. They invested pretty heavily into this elephant, which I don't know how they did so quickly. It has been on the team for how many turns? Two? Maybe two turns? And the, the starting stat line was a 3-7, so... They made it to, to be so so high statted so quickly. Yep, 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 yep. I'm liking what I'm seeing. And we can put this. Give me a pill, please. No, that's not a pill. That's not a pill as well. Another chameleon, I'll freeze. Well, it's unfortunate, but what can you do? I'll take a lasagna, I guess. I'll keep these two frozen for one more turn. Maybe we find the stingray in here and we, if we find the pill we'll be very happy. Ah, I'm very happy that my opponent is running some janky builds that uh, he's letting me do this. I've never played Axel Lotto in Tranked Versus and I don't think it's a good idea but at the same time... I <laughs> Look at this, this is so funny. Nice! We even win with the dirty rat that they gave us. Let's see how much Hilo we gained because of this. 9. Well, they were 100 Hilo lower than us, so I'm not going to refuse 9 Hilo. Let's take a look at the leaderboard real quick. Versus leaderboard. Uh, we have Kyogre second position. Very disappointing by Kyogre. XRB still here. Very nice to see. Fenger. A Binime I don't see. Which is unfortunate. Kyogre here is first, SAG, MCWG, uh, I don't see anyone else who's recognizable. RevGT isn't here, he's not been playing I guess. In the weekly we have SAG once again on top, suboptimal. So yeah, I'm very happy to see SAG dominate two of the three ladders. Actually, no, because <laughs> no Kyogre is dominating this one, but Sag is second and it's a close second, so I'm very happy to see that. Whatever the case, I hope you enjoyed this fun game. We use the Axolotl, which is a rarity for the puppy pack. If you did enjoy, please like, sub, do all the generic stuff, and I'll talk to you next time. Take care.